Hello and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22, Bally Spring. Alright, so I'm now in July. I've skipped forward, well, it's like three days I think it was. Um, and I have done a few updates as well to some mods that we've been using. So I've actually got a few changes because of that. So we're going to have to have a look at that and just try and figure it out, I think. Mainly enhanced animal mod change. So I kind of lost the lambs that I was supposed to sell at five months. So I've had to put them back in. Um, it's a different breed because then I actually had lambs. So the ones with the... Uh, with the face and the, the legs that have got like the dark brown. Um, they're the ones that are now zero months old technically, because I've just bought them at that. But we're going to have to wait again for them to be five months so we can sell them. It's just because I lost 13 lambs for some reason. It was the male male rams technically that are lambs, but... And obviously I wanted to sell them at five months, so... I've re reimbursed myself then, but we've now got to wait the five months again. So that's a bit of a pain, but I think it's got to be because I updated the mod itself. I know we've had a few... Uh, updates to the enhanced animal mod which as I've said multiple times is a, it's just an excellent mod it really is a game changer so we'll, we'll come back to that we'll have a look at the animals in a second because obviously the cows as well have changed because I've hit the, the point now where they're proper milkers uh, but they're not quite milking yet and then we've got heifers and uh, getting close to a certain age and it, it's getting a bit confusing all around the place but we are in July so we're close to chopping the maize and we're also close to doing some hay now I could do the hay I'm actually tempted to do the hay at the growth stage it's in now um, and just to see if there is much of a difference uh, and I really do need some hay as well so that'd help obviously we got a few items in the last episode the Ford itself that's sitting here this beautiful little like skid steer I'm gonna use that obviously moving the the wall which we've got a few bits of um, and then obviously we got the JCB load all in this I think it looks better. I do. I think the, the way I've been having it in the Farman series, this is, I, I just like it with the black kind of cab. And um, I do like them tires. They're quite low down. It's, it almost feels like I'm in a, a farming goat cart or something. Um, it's pretty cool. But I think the main change I've done is I did go into GE and I did move around some stuff. Now, it is a little bit different than my original plan, but I have some good thought behind this. So basically, what my original plan was, uh, I had three sheds. They're like in a, a U-shape from what we're looking at now. There was one here, one going across, and then one coming down. Now, I, r I realized in GE that there was the one that I was going to originally just like move out. And I think this one, I was just going to move in its place on the right -hand side. They were linked together as like an L-shape. So I had to remove both of them because they were connected to just one item. So I thought, well, I still want to do that. And then this one here was going to move anyway. But I thought, I'll just get rid of all three and put in my own. So that's why the money's gone down to 55000 Because I decided to put this in, which is really nice. Really nice object. But I've got a clipping problem just because these that are placed down just slightly at a different angle more precise than I can get or in game with this so as I've placed this down but I can fix that uh, quite easily with NGE because I can just move luckily that 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 building that it's clipping into there has a tiny little bit of leeway on the other side so I'm just going to move it forward a touch um, which will just obviously remove that clipping it means I don't have to replace this down in this save game so I'm going to do that off camera in between this episode and the next so that that'll be sorted out but I do like this. I just, you know, it's a bit customised. Um, I just think it, uh, you know, adds quite a lot. And I decided to put a gate in because why not? It's a bit of a tight, you know, entrance. And I decided to put the gate inwards because I thought if I had it here, coming in and out, it would obviously restrict this turning point over here. So I thought it'd be better over there. I mean, it does stop me getting into this. But obviously, if I'm going to get into this, I can just shut the gate. So that's not too much of a problem. The good thing about it though, it's opened up this area. 
So this now, when we feed the cows in here, it's going to be a lot easier to do. And I've got a lot more storage because I've placed down this as well, which is really good because it's an Irish style um, shed. So perfect for this map. And then obviously we still got this around the corner, um, which is great. Also, I just want to quickly mention this brilliant mod that I was using incorrectly. And I did get a comment about that, so I want to thank everyone that comments and stuff like because it really does help me. Because when I'm troubleshooting in-game, um, if I read the comments after, it can just be something so obvious that I've missed, and, and most of the time it is. But this does work. It does work. And I found what you do is you put it on the floor, which someone did say in a comment. I can't remember your name, so I apologise for that, but really appreciate that. Um, and then you can click it. And it has to be a certain point. Like if I put it here, it won't work. And if I go too far in, it won't work. But I've found that if I just have it like in that gap there, about halfway, it works. So I've got a kind of a reference point now, which is great for it. Uh, so that, that's going to work in handy. That really is. So yeah, a few changes. I think it looks good. And it's definitely custom now to obviously this playthrough on this save game, which is exactly what I'm after. Um... But yeah, there's lots to do, lots to do, especially the animals. We need to do a feed mix, definitely, because if we just have a quick look in the animals menu. We'll go for the cows first, because obviously they're going to be the main, you know, earners for us with all the milk. We've now got 30 cows, technically fully grown, fully bagged up cows, ready to milk and all that kind of stuff. Reproduction, though, has halted at 90%, which is not what we want. And that's really, I think that's because my food it ran out and got to a point where i was so close that i just i mean i was in day three and i was trying to get to the first day of this month so i could start this episode and i th decided just to throw some hay in basically bought a few hay bales throw, threw it in and you can see that i've got twenty six thousand liters of it left so it's not the best is it they've got 30 percent productivity there that's probably the why so we're going to do a tmr mix now we're going to feed these cows because they're obviously fully you know matured they're going to going to need a lot more feed now so we're going to get that sorted and then hopefully by then we can see that this jumps up because then we might have some calves we can then move them around and do the whole process again heifers heifers are at 10 months they're very close you know they're very close to to growing but they're the ones that we had originally as calves so they're really doing well at 10 months and they're growing you know quite well but feeding these cows is our main priority then we can look at the sheep you can see that i originally had these that grew up into 15 I've got 15 sheep females here that grew up to 10 months. My original flock, you could say, was, I think it was these 15, these 23. Um, I'm sure I had a ram that's vanished as well. Um, but I know I know I lost some because obviously I'd, if it gets to 0% health, uh, if it gets to 0% on the feed and all that kind of stuff and health, some can die. So I know I did lose some, but I definitely did have 13 young male rams. So we're calling them lambs, but they, were, they are rams that we were going to sell at five months. So you can see that I've put them back in. They're now one month old. And I also got 14 female lambs in this time as well. And then I got myself 15 more male lambs to sell. So really, it, five months we'll sell them and then a month later we'll sell them. Um, but we're doing all right. It's just, yeah, it's uh, the other ones should be, we should have been selling now. But the feed on this, I haven't touched or anything. I haven't done anything. It's perfectly fine. It's obviously the grazing mod is just keeping on top of that for me and then we've got this calf that we used as an example that's just still sitting there so we're not doing too bad we just need to probably get on top of these cows feed them and then we can go from there so let's get that started let's let's sort that out um I'm trying to think the best feed mix to do now because of the fact we've got fully grown milkers we want to try and make it as productive as possible which we will with the tmr but let me just quickly show you as well this gap that i'm on about you can see that it's perfectly fine here and you can see how it slants in it's like on a slight angle and i just couldn't get it to be any more precise so it's just about moving this back a touch and if you look on over here i've got a gap so if i move it a tiny bit that will work a treat so that's my plan with that right so let's jump in um i know it takes quite a lot of juice so let's why not just jump into the voucher The maize silage thing is a, is a difficult one because really you probably want to chop that when it's not ready to harvest, but I'm not sure if I need to or should do basically because it's in growth stage 5 now at 6, but I made a note that to, to do that in growth stage 6, so I just want to check that out and before I do it, and I think that probably will be something we do in the next episode, which I am actually looking forward to because obviously going to try our best to use auto drive and cosplay if needed 
um, maybe just mainly auto drive, and we can drive the forage harvester and have them carted, and then even use course play to, well, basically, we'll be using course play to offer the bunker, so the compacting, uh, because there's a feature in course play for that, so, yeah. Right, so I've gone with the dairy mix, so that's te technically for the, you know, dairy cattle. And the good thing about this one, as you can see, just make that out, I don't know if you can, it's probably better to do that. I can go up to 75% on grass silage or maize silage, so we're just going to massively put grass silage in, because we've got more than that, obviously, compared to the hay. We've only got, I think it's like one hay bale over there, so I don't think that's even going to be 20%, is it? We're going to have to try and figure this out. Um, we might need to buy some more hay. I probably shouldn't have put as much hay into their feed. That's made a mistake there. But yeah, we'll 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 bulk it out. We'll put the hay in first, and then hopefully we can just get the right mixture just to kind of top the feed up, and hopefully it'll last a day or something for the meantime. But yeah, let's go and get ourselves the first hay bale. Put that in, and then we'll go with the silage after it. I might just part this here. I think it should be fine. We'll go from the, the rear of it. We are going to use the, the load all. Now I'm looking forward to doing that maze though. But I feel like I should chop it really because it's maize silage before it gets ready to harvest. Because you know that's that's more in line with what happens in the real world. They don't wait for it to obviously get you know mature to the point where they'd harvest it for corn. Um, yeah. And I'm just not 100% certain what the right thing to do. I know whole crop was definitely at an early stage. So whole crop we, we mow in the last stage of growth, so you, you, technically that'd be like growth stage five. Uh, but I don't know if six is actually the last growth stage now, thinking about it, but I'm sure it's not. Um, i tell you what, the easiest way to figure that out is, is go to this tab here, set fruit field. Let's say I wanted to put field one as corn Growth stage five, yeah, ready to harvest is six then. So we're in the last growth stage before it's ready to harvest. So, yeah, it's definitely something we need to sort out then. We'll let that do its thing. We'll just quickly go drive up here and we'll go get ourselves a few grass silage bales. We've even got whole crop silage that's fermenting as well now, so that's good. We are going to do another field of whole crop because it didn't give off that much in comparison to our grass silage, but it's it's one of them. It, it's something we'll use to top up, just so we're not eating through the grass silage as much. But we've got a lot of grass silage anyway, so that's not too bad. Right, so, moment of truth with this one. We'll try and balance it out, really, haven't we, so it's not too much. We need that one to come down to around 20% on the hay. No more, so we've got to be really smart with this. Ooh, don't want that one dropping. Because then we can at least give them something, even if it's not going to be a full mix, until I go and buy some more hay. We've got enough money, luckily, anyway, so... Right, so we're alright so far. We can put probably another one in, so I did get out four. So we're going to have to take the bottom one now. There we go, that worked out. Just wanted to throw it in, in there. I know it's a grass silage bale, but it's just getting it out of the way. And then we can figure this out, hopefully. We can take the whole of this bale. Right, so we can actually still fit in. We might get to about halfway, you know, so we may as well just get that bale out. Let's do this. I think it should be fine. There you are. Um, round grass silage bale. We'll take that back, please. We'll get this. We'll get this. Eventually. <laughs> right, so we are close. We don't want to go over the 75. 
on the silage, but we also don't want to go. I probably think that that's our maximum, isn't it, really? Maybe we can get it to 75? I think we can. Right, that's our maximum. Can't do any more than that. But we've done well. I mean, we've put a good amount of bales in there and we have got quite a decent enough feed mix. But it's still, only, it's still showing me as grass silage. Now, I wonder if that is because I've messed it up somehow. Maybe I did go over. Oh, it's 75.2. Right, that's my bad. So <laughs> I'm going to have to put something else in there. Which I think I can put the... Yeah, I can. I can put the, the sugar beet cut. I might even have a bit of molasses. I'll have something. I'll tell you that now. I don't think it is sugar beet cut that I've got. What have I got? Have I got sugar beet shred? Something along them lines. We can put a bit of that in. Get me trying to max out, and I've gone over. Typical. Right, what have we got? What have we got? Have we got a front loader with a bucket, or is it all just... I think it is all just for the load all. Where are you? Let's drop this size bale over here. I'll go get the bucket and get some sugar beet shred, and then uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get this actually sorted out. Right, so there we go. So I decided to put the mineral feed in just because it was there and it was a little bit easier. So now, now we should be fine. We are going to take this out to the field. We need that grass to grow back, don't we? When it does, we should bring in some more feed. But let's just hope this ties them over for a bit. There we go. It's only 27,000 litres. I probably think that's about a day's worth of feed now for this, these cows. If that. If that, honestly. It's probably a 1,000 litres an hour that these cows are consuming. So it's a lot of feed. And we definitely need some hay. So we're going to make sure we go out and make some hay. Gonna have to chop it. I'll be doing the mowing because obviously the mower just doesn't agree with uh, the course play. It really doesn't. So we'll, I'll make sure I do the mowing and then I think we'll use course play to do some of the rowing, bailing and so on. And uh, we'll try and get through. Let's say if we aim to do two fields in this episode, maybe two fields the next time, the next growth stage, just kind of go in between. We're not going to be cutting the grass for a third time. Two should be enough. We've got plenty of grass silage, I'm sure of it, and we're just getting a bit more hay. If we do get a chance for a third cut, we can always do just a bit of hay. Um, but yeah, it's it's, uh, it's. I don't think it's going to be something that we really need because the hay is going to be a short mix kind of product. It's mainly going to be silage types. You've seen like maize silage in the bunker is going to be important. Grass silage, whole crop can buffer it up um, because I'm sure if I go on to my mixtures. The, the realistic one's pretty decent, obviously, because you can just pretty much just put anything in. But if we have a look at our dairy cow, we can do hay. So it's just standard hay. May silage, grass silage. We, I can actually add in whole crop silage into that, so I'll probably do that off... Because uh, obviously this is an XML within the mod itself, um, and you can alter it and just put anything you want into these categories. So I think it would fall quite quite well into that category there with the may silage and grass silage. So we can put whole crop in there. And then, as you can see, mineral feed, the sugar beet, sugar beet cut. I, I think I added in sugar beet cut as well into this, or sugar beet. Uh, got BG silage, the grain grist, which we can make ourselves if we wanted to, if we get the right uh, feed in for that. Well, it's mainly the grain that we need first for that. Um, and then molasses and filter water, which I probably won't be touching because it's only 5% that I can go up to, so um, it's not as important. But I'd like to do maybe a bit of sugar, sugar beet. Sugar beet cut especially, I think that'd be a good idea, um, and, and add the whole crop into that because then really, twenty percent. We max this out to seventy-five. Add five percent of that. Put twenty percent hay in. I think that's not a bad mix for the cows. Um, and obviously, we're feeding the calves the milk anyway, so I think that's a pretty decent plan to have. So we'll have a look just to see where the feeds at, and I honestly think <laughs> that's probably going to last them about a day. So, yeah, it's uh, difficult on Maze Plus. You really do need to try and get that feed in.
Right, so I'm all set up to go. I'm going to start on this field first. Now, this is the stage it's at. If you can tell, it does say ready to harvest. Um, grow stage 3 out of 3. It's the one before. I think it's we've got two more maybe to go until it gets to that. So I am doing this a little bit early, but it, it's, it is ready to harvest still. I am expecting less, but we're going to do it because we do need hay. So we are only going to do the two fields here, just this one and that one with this because yeah it's it's it, if we do hit you know on the amount we're gonna get um, I'd rather just wait for the other two and just have some hay for the meantime um, but yeah we'll, we'll give it a go to be honest though this grass actually looks epic I love this texture of it it probably is actually the way farmers would want to cut it they don't really want it to go to head so this is like long nice lush grass it's at that level this is probably when farmers are chopping anyway I mean, that is long grass, like really long grass. Most farmers aren't going to chop that like that. That's been left too long. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a strange one. And then you've got, I'm um, just trying to see if we can see any, but I doubt we can. I think it's all probably grown. I'm sure there's one just before that long grass. But yeah, let's get let's get started. Let's start mowing. Um, and then we'll use course play on the other piece of kit, and then we'll get onto the second field and mow that. I always forget to turn on condition it, which is definitely, and it will have an impact because I know I get a bit more yield when it's conditioned. But yeah, looking at the maze now on the left hand side, you can see, I mean, that's pretty much there, isn't it, really, for me, salvage wise. That's, that's going to be chopped. I mean, yeah, I'm going to have to proper look into it just to see if I do it now, will it affect the amount I get? What's the best, yeah, the best uh, time to chop the maze? It'd be interesting to know that one. I just want to give a massive shout out and a big thank you to everyone that's been showing me support recently by joining the Kofi page that I've set up, which is a page that I've got currently uh, to, to anyone that wants to basically support me and uh, join this membership donations page, anything like that. And I've put on there that it is my goal at some point, hopefully soon, to go full time and do YouTube. Um, I love making content, absolutely, you know, love making it, and I feel lucky that I've got so many people that want to watch me, um, so I really do aim to, at some point soon, try and go full-time with that, um, but yeah, the, the support I've been shown since I set that up has been so overwhelming, it's, it's been crazy, and I just want to thank everyone for that, because it really does mean the world to me, it really does, to seeing that many people help me out like that, and, and uh, set up memberships, um, and also, you know, the donations as well. It's 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 crazy, really, how everyone comes together like that. Yeah, like I said, it's it's overwhelming, and I appreciate it so much. So thank you very much for that. And and the same goes to everyone that watches the videos, likes, you know, shares, comments, all that stuff. It really does go a long way, and I appreciate you know every single one of you that, for watching. I really do. Right, so I think it might be time for me to start a bit of a time lapse. Um, I mean, it's not. I mean, ideally, what we'd be doing in the next year is probably upgrading this tractor or a tractor to get a bit more beefy one and get a better mower. We can have a front mower on this as well. Like I could buy a front mower and have this and a front mower. The thing that's put me off from doing that is the fact that I go uphill with this map a lot and I think if I had a front mower on, I'm probably going to struggle. I am. I'm going to struggle with that. So I don't know if it's a good idea yet. Maybe you need a bit more of a beefy tractor. Um, difficult to find a tractor that's got loads of horsepower with a bit of a medium frame. But actually, now that I can open up the gates and the fences and it's not as tight in areas now, it might be something that we can actually just go ahead with and get ourselves a nice mid-ranged 300 horsepower tractor that uh, will go a long way. It really will, because we're around 200 now. If we can get an extra 100 on top of that, that's, that's going to make things a lot better. It really is. I think you can tell that I am getting less grass as well. I'm looking at the, the grass coming off this, and it is definitely not as much. It could be a good idea just to do one field. 
and wait until at least August time to do that second cut on the other three because I know I'm going to be at the stage then it's actually ready to harvest and even though it's not going to be like the long grass it will be yeah it will be good enough and uh, we should get more than this I think I might do that just stick to the one field just because we're obviously shy of hay we need a bit of it and uh, yeah it's definitely a good idea Right, so all the mowing is done and the tedding. Used course play for the tedding and I've just started the course for the row. And we're going to jump in the baler and then do that manually. And I think then, looking at it, it's not too bad. I mean, I've just looked at the swath dropping off that and it's, yeah, it's okay. So, could have been worse. <laughs> but it's, um, it's something we need. It's a challenge to have, like, obviously, maize plus... Um, with the food additions because it just the cows just well basically they just eat so much they really do but in turn they give you a lot more milk a lot more slurry and a lot more muck so you do get the benefits of it you know it, you will be making um, a lot more money from the milk um, and it is actually in line with real life really because the numbers they give off is you know more in line um, it's just a lot to, to do you know within a game so yeah should be alright. Now, I am using the baler extension mod, which I did show in the video I did not long ago, which is the my favourite 25 mods in FS22. And uh, it is a cracking mod, it really is. So we're going to make sure we uh, have it on auto drop and all that. I'm just trying to figure out where he started. I think it's there, but I'll wait for him to go past this bit. I like how he's missed that and he's actually followed the route I took when mowing. Such a brilliant mod, course play. It really is. So where are you gonna branch off there? Just there, that's good to know. So I'll start here. So we are doing the, the 150 sizes and we'll get this off on its way. It should have auto drop already set up, but we will just check with this. Um, I mean you can see that the rows are probably smaller, but then again, if we just stop it quickly and actually have a look at precision farming. Um, Yield-wise, 
Um, yeah, you can see we're always picking up around, what is it, 85%, a little bit of 90 in there, maybe a little bit of 95 as well. In fact, that's probably 90 and 95, which isn't too bad. I did well on the, the whole crop. I was actually at 100%. <laughs> and I know that sounds pretty poor because you can get up to 125, but, I mean, with the soil types we've got on this, version of Bally Spring, which I know there is an updated version, there's plenty of updates since and I will be moving over, I promise you, because I do want to see them breeds, of them cows, and then we'll have a different soil map, I don't know exactly what this is, I still haven't checked that I'm hoping it's more varied and it might be in a nice spot up in this corner uh, but you never know, it still might be pretty you know, poor quality soil uh, but you know, we're doing alright I mean, we're, it's not the best but we're taking off and that's the main thing and my score is at 80 and that's the one thing I'm probably going to miss, actually, going into the new save game. This will drop back down. Um, yeah. I'll try and set everything up so I'm like really close to where I am now. I'm just trying to think. I have dropped a little bit because I did have 10% before, so I wonder what that is. Um, nitrogen levels didn't say it was maximum, which it was, and I know I fertilised that, so that's a bit strange. Um, pH value is a little bit lower because obviously we've already chopped in it and that's fine weed control is always one that I struggle with well, soil samples is a tiny bit lower but maybe because I didn't uh, do soil samples just before I chopped but I'm not going to keep doing that in grass fields and tillage is a little bit lower um, but I'm not actually sure if I direct seeded in this um, yeah just want to check if I've actually got to uh, Water drop on, I think I have, we'll find out. We definitely need this hay, that's that's certainty. I know we chopped early in this field, but, you know, I don't think we could have gone without this hay. Um, and even if we get like five, six, seven bales, I don't know what we're going to get. We might get about ten if we're lucky, I think. Um, I'm going to be happy with that, because it's ten bales that I haven't got now, and I can actually start feeding the cows properly, not have to worry about so we're about to drop. I'm just going to see if this drops automatically. It should do. Ah, so it's not, so... There you go. I think I've enabled it now. There we go. So while course play was doing its work in this field, uh, with the TED in, and, uh, and I was setting up the row, I did check out some Maze Plus, uh, the, well, the PDF mainly, and also just some other information on the Discord. Uh, just wanted to confirm, because I know I can chop the maize early than ready to harvest. But, I don't know if it impacts on the yield. But what I can see is it can be definitely chopped early. So we're going to just chop it in this state. I think that's now ready to make some maize silage. So in the next episode, we are going to focus on getting some maize silage done, and it'll be in July day two, basically. Um, and it's going to be good. I'm going to lease out the equipment I need as if I was getting contractors in, and I'm going to try and figure out a good way to do it. We have got two fields, so... If we have to work on one field and then if it didn't work out too good, we can change it up for the second field. But ideally, I want to be trying to use auto drive to do the carting and I want to try and drive the forage harvester and then obviously use course plate to compact. It's going to be tricky. It is. It really is. It's quite um, yeah, it's quite a difficult to, thing to ask auto drive to do on this map. And I think in general, really, it's, uh, it's, it's where course play in auto drive it's definitely where auto drive can come into its element but also you can have a lot of problems um, but if we can get it right in working and just have a few little problems I'm happy with that um, and if not what I'll do is I'll do the carting and I'll just get course play to do you know, the, uh, the actual uh, field work um, in the second field for example we'll start on the small one I think the small one's probably best to do then again saying that there's more chance of us clipping things and stuff with auto drive so maybe it would be the, the other one we'll figure it out we'll figure it out i might do a bit of a, a test run <laughs> just to see what's best uh, but actually no what we'll do is we'll do it all in the video so then we can show the problems if there is any and maybe if i find a solution there and then then that can help anyone else out that wants to try it so it's probably the best thing to do Right, so I'll stick in another time lapse now of me finishing off this field and getting some bales. And I think by that time, I'm pretty much done. So far, so good.
We've got two bales. I don't know why he's going across that field, though. It's going to be a pain when I'm doing these headland passes. so there we go this field is all done and we got some hay well much needed hay should i say for the cows uh we got 11 bales and they are six and a half thousand liters each so it's not too bad at all you know it's like over seventy thousand liters of uh hay for us to add to the feed and with us only doing 20 percent per mix that should last us you know for a little bit now we are going to need a lot more. We really are. It might get to the point that in the next year, we might buy a few more grass fields out that way, or even probably down that way. If anything, I want to find something that's more level. Um, I mean, them fields over there look pretty level, but I will, you know, just uh, scout the area and just see if there's anything pretty decent. I mean, we could have a quick look at the map now and just see if there's a big, big grass field for us. Um, close enough. I mean, 93 looks pretty decent. Is it hilly? Um... It's bigger than anything we've got right now. I mean, should we see how much it costs? Ah, so it's, you can see that it's actually field 50 that goes across, and it is. I mean, don't get me wrong, the prices, as you can see, are crazy, but we could take a loan out if we needed to. That's probably higher than it should be, but is that that actually could be the biggest field on the map. I think it might be, you know. Got some decent-sized fields, really, when you see the pricing. But that's not bad, is it? 7.5 acres and it's 182 but this is 14 acres so it's like double uh, but yeah that's not a bad field really we could even jump over to that field let's have a look it says 93 and 45 but you're buying combined um, and this is the field so that's that I mean that's level it goes across uh, it's not too bad um, and then we'd also get a field across from it so we just bring up the map we can have a good look what we're talking about here so this field itself which is yeah it's a decent sized field it really is you can see that it goes quite far out that way but then we'd also get the field across which is this and you never know we could turn this into something do you know what we could turn this into sugar beets or potatoes because that's going to come in handy for our feed and i really would like to do some sugar beets and potatoes and i think this is about the right size field to do to do that so that's another option and I have actually been thinking about sugar meats and potatoes in this series. And that's not just because it's an Irish map and potato and all that stuff. It's nothing to do with that. It's just because of the feed for the, you know, the TMR. Um, I think it'd be good. But yeah, that's a good size feel for potatoes. 
I might actually go with potatoes because I know I can even cut potatoes, shred them like you do with the sugar beets in the base game by using maize pulse. So I could add that into a feed recipe, couldn't I, as well? So why not? Why not? So what I'll do now in between this episode and the next is I'll get everything put away. So all the bales we've just done, I'll pick them up from the field. I'll place them over there. I'll sort the feed out. I'll probably do a, a full TMR mix for them, take them out to the cows. Um, hopefully that should keep them, you know, steady for the rest of this. Well, hopefully for the rest of this month. So July, two more days after this one. I'll also jump into GE and sort that clipping out. I have got a clipping over here as well, but that's solely down to me. I should put it forward a little bit. That's my fault. So I might have to just delete this and put it back down. I can sort that out. Um, but yeah, the other one I'll sort out definitely. I mean, even this thing, thinking about it, this would be a perfect place to store potatoes. Really, really would. Right down the corner. Um, but then the main focus after that is going to be this bunker and getting some maize in it. I don't know how much we'll put in. We probably, if not certainly, won't fill it up because obviously this is, you know, it's a big bunker. It really is. But I'm hoping to get a good amount in there, nonetheless, and then, yeah, we'll have maize silage. Right, so before I end the video, again, I just want to give another big shout out and a massive thank you to everyone that's jumped over and supported me on Kofi, on my Kofi page. It's insane the amount of support I've been shown. Honestly, I didn't expect it. The donations, the memberships, everyone that subscribed to me over there. Um, honestly, massive shout out to every single one of you. If you do feel like checking that out and seeing what it's all about, there'll be a link in the video description for that. So yeah, feel free to go check that out. Well, on that note, I am going to leave the video there. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up because that does help my channel out. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on Farming Simulator.